We're going to be talking about Dan Bilzerian being ordered to court for Ignite Swindle. Make sure you stay until the end of the video so you don't miss out on some darker details about Dan Bilzerian's fraud. You'll be absolutely shocked. Ignite, Bilzerian's company. Dan Bilzerian is a celebrity who has a lot of money due to the family he was born into. His father set him and his brother up with trust funds and that's what's helped him to develop such an extravagant lifestyle. But Dan also decided to start his own company. This company is called Ignite and they specialize in CBD oils, but also sell water bottles, vodka and electronic cigarettes. This company has products in a few countries around the world. They even plan to expand into other parts of the world too. And the products themselves are said to be of good quality. Ignite is stated to have even touched on the fashion industry. The company started in 2017 and has now expanded into the point where they call themselves a leading global lifestyle brand. On their website, you can see how important Dan Bilzerian is to the company, since his Instagram handle and the number of people that engage with the social media posts is shown. Since Bilzerian loves luxury, he made his company a luxurious one as well. He calls it a premium brand on their website and even the way the company celebrates is luxurious. This seemed to be a successful company, but unfortunately it wasn't handled well. The company eventually started to lose big. The company itself has made millions of dollars, yet the way they handled their expenses caused them to spend more than they made. Social Media Celebrity It's impossible not to have heard of the name Dan Bilzerian. He is a poker-playing, multi-millionaire entrepreneur. You may have seen him on Instagram, where he has a whopping 32 million followers. His content on Instagram depicts utmost luxury. You'll usually see these posts about expensive wines, luxurious getaways, and bikini-clad women. Bilzerian also loves to flaunt his wealth, often showing off his literal stacks of money. He even offered $5,000 to anyone who could come up with a name for his book. He loves to host photo shoots with models that he has to pay for. He's also big on parties. Dan Bilzerian is the son of Paul Bilzerian, who we're going to look at in more detail later on in this video. His father was a wealthy man as well, and decided to set up trust funds for Dan Bilzerian and his brother. He uses this money plus the money from his company to afford the life that he lives. It's obvious that Bilzerian lives a lavish life, but not everything is perfect. Let's take a look at one of his companies. All about Paul Bilzerian, Dan's dad. Dan Bilzerian can afford his luxurious lifestyle due to Ignite's administration costs. But we can also take a look at who his father is. Bilzerian's father is Paul Bilzerian, who is known for his fraud. Some of his federal crime charges include parking stocks in someone else's name, not making timely disclosures, and misstating sources of his funds. Dan Bilzerian is also still involved with some of the companies his father was involved with, although he has not directly been accused of any crimes by the authorities. This may not last too long, because the yachts, guns, stacks of money, and even models are all branded with the Ignite logo, so they may be purchased with the company's funds. Could that get Bilzerian in trouble? The bulk of Bilzerian's cash comes from his company. The loss the company suffered was so huge, they believed they needed funds from private investors in order to stay afloat. Ignite Squabble The company just came under a lot of scrutiny after audits of their spending were released. Once the public found out just how much money they were spending and what they were spending it on, then claims of fraud were made. There have been a lot of issues with this company, and most of them have to do with the decisions Dan Bilzerian has made. He handled his company poorly, and they suffered a major loss because of that. Bilzerian's father even got involved, and, knowing his history of fraud, that only got them further into trouble. Lawsuits were filed against Ignite for fraud and the way the company spends their money. Huge purchases were made by Bilzerian under the company's money, and many of his luxurious items, such as guns and even models, have Ignite's name on them. This shows an improper way to handle the company, and is the reason why Bilzerian has come under fire. All of this will be explored further later on in this video. Ignite begins losing lots of dollars. The company had some substantial financial problems in 2019. The company accumulated a loss of $50 million, and that is insane. This was a year where the company traded their shares, so how did they lose so much? First, let's see where Ignite's money came from. Ignite mostly got its money from investors, shares sold, and loans. The media has been waiting for a statement regarding the company's huge loss, but so far nothing has been said. That led us to look at the company's annual report. According to this, the company made money from two different ways in 2019. They made money by selling stocks as well as taking debts from financial institutions. From shares alone, they made $25 million. Another $19.9 million came from convertible debt. Additionally, the company also made $23.7 million from a short-term promissory note. 
According to reports, Ignite loves to spend money and went on quite the lavish spending spree. They ended up spending more money than they earned. The company operated in Ireland, the United Kingdom, Mexico and the United States. Their CBD products are available in stores in these countries. They even started to dabble in fashion and clothing. If they claim to be this successful, how exactly did they lose $50 million in just one year? Well, let's take a look at how Ignite celebrates. The company is known for hosting huge and highly luxurious parties. These aren't just any kind of typical house party. These parties flaunt exquisite meals, beautiful models, and expensive alcohol. It is estimated that each Ignite party runs a cost of millions per party. Just in 2019 alone, Ignite lost $43 million for promotion and marketing. This is inclusive of compensation for staff and executive members. Now, it isn't atypical for companies to make this kind of loss. In fact, plenty have lost more than that. The company made around $9 million, but went on to spend more than double that in administration costs. The note of the company director. Here is what the company director's memo had to say upon releasing. The company will need to raise capital in order to fund its operations and continue its existing prospective expansion into strategic markets. This need may be adversely impacted by uncertain capital market conditions, including those created by the COVID-19 pandemic, an inability to secure strategic partnerships in key markets, and an unfavorable perception of the Ignite brand. Although the company has been successful in the past in obtaining financing, there's no assurance that it will be able to obtain adequate financing in the future or that such financing will be on terms that are acceptable to the company. The uncertainty of the company's ability to achieve profitable operations and its success in raising additional capital funding may cast significant doubt on the company's ability to continue as a going concern. Fresh data. Fresh and essential information has appeared. The former vice president of Ignite was fired in June for unknown reasons. However, after his release from the company, he gave information about why he was let off by the company, the reason itself being quite wild. He was let off due to the fact that he wouldn't approve of the expensive and lavish lifestyle of Bilzerian. One of the outlandish items the vice president didn't approve of in his budgeting was a $15,000 ping pong table. They also wanted a rock climbing wall that was $40,000. All of the large and extravagant expenses from the company were found out to be mostly personal in nature. One such was a bohemian photo shoot. Ignite paid for 50% of $793,000 for a yacht. There was also a payment of $128,000 for a two-night stay in London, and a smaller payment such as those for laundry detergent. It seems as though Ignite spends more money for luxury than for their products. Since the vice president was fired for unjust reasons, he decided to file a lawsuit with the company. One other claim was that he mischaracterized a loan that he received from the federal government's coronavirus aid. He wrote it down as an income because Ignite told him to do so. Bilzerian's father also started to make headlines after it was claimed that he was involved in the company. This is a serious claim because Dan Bilzerian's father is no longer allowed to operate a public company due to his felony charges. According to these claims, Paul Bilzerian was involved in management meetings and is still involved in making decisions for the company alongside Dan. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!